going to move on with data and statistics. You can see that you can find a lot in data statistics. I do use it a lot, so I just wanted to get us back on track so that we keep the course moving for you. But definitely, data and statistics is something you'll want to see. So I'm um, going back to the main data and statistic page. Uh, we saw the high penalties. Now you could do your fatality and catastrophe investigation search from here. So if you knew a keyword or anything specifically like a, a fall accident or, or something, you could put that right in here, a description, and then you could actually find even sick code and any ICS code. Uh, a fatality or injury. So I am going to do, uh, let's do roofing only because I know it's, it's they've got some there. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to keep these dates here, 2002 to 2017. I don't know why it says 17, but let's uh, give this a shot. So I've got no results there. All right, I thought I might find a keyword with that. If not, then let's call fall to below in the description box. And it's not giving me anything there for fall to below either. Uh, so I'd really have to look up the investigation number or inspection number or a sick code. It looks like that's the best way to do it. I don't have a sick code right now, but that'll kind of bring me to the next thing I was going to show you. So let's go back to, and this is the uh, data and statistics basic homepage. And if you needed to do a sick code search, so let's do that first, and then I'll go back to that fatality investigation. You could do a keyword search. So let's say I am uh, uh, air conditioning. Air conditioning, HVAC. You could see right here there's several uh, categories that have that. So I'm going to, uh, let's go to not the stores because that'll be a little bit uh, harder but let's go to the 1711 sick code so I'm going to copy that and this tells you all the activities that are in that sick code so I am going to go back to my data and statistics and um, we had the worker fatality report that's the one page. Let's go back. That's a different worker fatality report. That's the same one that you can see on the home page. So I am back up here with fatality and catastrophe investigation search. Let's see if there's one that happened, and there may or may not be one that happened with the sick code. I don't know. So I'm just doing a search, and it looks like we've had... Uh, several using this sick code. So starting with that worker repairing a leak is poison for hydrofluoric acid and it works its way down. It looks like we've got 208 results from this. So this is specifically for accidents. And uh, so that's has uh, everything. It's got the summary of the accident. If I wanted to, I could click on that. And with the summary, it's going to tell me a nice description of what happened uh, at this particular case. And they do have the keywords here. So construction, maintenance, repair, valve. So if I went back to that one uh, section where it asked for keywords, this same thing would show up if I uh, listed any one of these keywords. It may be in a different order than the sick code one, but it would be there. Then there's an inspection type, so I could go back to the hyperlink. I could see who was involved in this case, see when it was, and see if there's any fines and penalties. It looks like there was uh, some fines and penalties here. And uh, it looks like, when you see initial and current, it looks like you initially was fined 2100 for one, uh, 300 for another, and 300 for another uh, violation. But someone had a, a, a settlement, you see a state settlement here, and that settlement means that 
uh, someone spoke to OSHA and asked them to, hey, bring down the price a little for me. And you do that in an informal settlement. This one looks like a state settlement, so it's a state uh, OSHA plan. Uh, from what I'm reading, it's Ohio here, or Oregon, excuse me, so Oregon does have a state OSHA plan. So Oregon state OSHA plan uh, worked with this uh, this person and this company and got their fines down. So that's something that you could definitely do. It's another uh, course to show you guys how to do that. Uh, but I've, I've done that before. I talked with clients to OSHA and we help get their case down. Here's the general duty standard search. So I'm going to put in the same SIC code here. Uh, time frame is 2011 to 2016 and the general duty clause is the 5A1 violation. So a 5A1 violation is, uh, I'm not going to say it verbatim, but the gist of that violation is uh, you as the employer have the requirement to provide a place of employment that is free from any known or recognized hazards to make sure your employees are protected. And if there isn't a standard that specifically says uh, what you're doing is wrong according to 1910 section 25 or something, uh, then they would refer to the 5A1 general duty clause. And that is 5A1 from the OSHA Act. So it's the OSHA Act section 5 paragraph A1 and that's where you would find this. So this is showing you some citations that are specifically 5A1 citations. So again, if I hit inspection, I could find out what it was. I got the SIC code and everything, and it might even give me a price too. So I could go down. So this is a $3,000 violation. You can see the standard was 5A1 being violated. So it could cost you quite a bit. So this is how you could use that data. So I'm going to work my way down a little bit more. You got your frequently cited standards by OSHA. We went over that slightly in one way, but if you knew that NAC, NAICS code, you could put that NAICS code in here. And uh, you know what I'm going to do? Let's go back a couple of pages. Um, and let's do the data search. Uh, I'm going to do a NAACS code on the last search that I had for the data and statistics on HVAC. So I did that search, right? I'm going to do it again. Uh, this time I know the number. So I'm going to show you here where it comes up as uh, heating, plumbing, and just the name. So how I'm going to do this, I'm going to highlight this section here as being the name uh, that I want. I'm going to go back to uh, data and statistics. And now we're going down to the NAICS coding system. I'm clicking on the U.S. Census Bureau because that's where it's housed. Um, so if I were to paste that information that I have, uh, that information that I put down for plumbing, I don't see anything there. So I am going to make it a little smaller phrase, call it air conditioning, hit the search, see if that shows up, and it does. So then I would just go down here and find whichever one suits what I'm looking for. A lot of these are wholesalers and manufacturers, some are repair. So here's a supply, here's installation. Uh, I am going to click on this one because it's a contractor. So since it's a contractor, you can see it's the same SIC code or NAICS code description as the SIC code description. So I'm going to copy this. And just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to do OSHA.gov and keep that other one up. Uh, data and statistics, we're going to do uh, a search here. And I'm going to do the NAICS search. Here's the manual. And then we've got the frequently cited standard. So I'm going to go back a little. Uh, so let's see. I am going to find this right over here 
with your frequently frequently cited standard. I'm going to click that NAICS code and paste it in here. And once I submit this, now you could see all of the types of things OSHA would look for if they were citing uh, a HVAC company. So I am uh, definitely, uh, if I was someone who had that uh, company or safety res uh, responsibility, I'd look for fall protection. I'd look for, uh, this looks like excavation. I'll look for HASCOM. So those are some of the things I'd be looking for. Safety training. Uh, this is all, this right here is construction, construction, general industry, construction, 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 general industry. And the section is right on the very end. So I would follow those and then I would know what I need to do with my safety system just by that that top 10 coast, uh, top 10 there. I would go 10, 15 maybe. All right, you got your sick search we showed you that and I showed you where the manual was I showed you where the NEICS is you could also do a profile by standard so let's say I know a OSHA standard so let's say 1910 general industry and I'm gonna do section 22 which is in uh, walking and working surfaces so I submit that now I'm gonna see right up top it's telling me it's the general requirements of subpart D it doesn't say that but I just know that that's what that is for general industry here is a two-digit SIC uh, code search and so you or any ICS and you could bring it all the way up to five digits to get it more specific so these are more specific interest uh, industries by five digits and then you can see what the inspection is for these sectors so it's really good to know and the last that is the last one for that i told you general duty search so we went through that on the right side here you got chemical exposure health data and there's so much data on here so if i knew the establishment by state i give it a range or a sick code any isc code i give it a range i submit that data uh, then it's going to just tell me a little bit more of the type of substances that is in their data and so it's telling me who uh, state information date it was sampled so it's a lot of just extra research for specific uh, constituents uh, specific sampling that you may need so it's all on this it's just that's why you can get lost with data and statistics so here's the data initiative so you could then break down the data even more here's severe injury reports uh, there's all kinds of stuff you can look through here and a lot of this kind of interlinks to each other so in doing the data statistics page that I have up here we went through several of these things on the drop down menu so much that we cover them all the only one that I didn't really go through was the last one that I clicked on by accident but this one is the weekly fatality report that you'll see and it has history so you could go back several years on fatality reporting and if you needed to you could actually download this as well and there's a constant scrolling here to show you uh, just that data so uh, data statistics I'm telling you this is the heart of what you're doing for OSHA.gov if you wanted to uh, get some good information for your safety system uh, enforcement training those are also good as well laws and regulations but if you're looking at the crux of your day getting some good information from people who are in your same NAICS code or your same SIC code you can really break down OSHA's uh, enforcement efforts by just going through the data statistics portion so I hope this uh, module helps you uh, I know it's two parts but I actually got a lot of information in for you. So enjoy the rest of the course and we'll see you in the next module on enforcement.